Alright, so this may be my final video of the day. I don't want to, like, over overextend myself with this. So maybe I'll just do it the entirety of the tap. I don't fuck it. I just want to do this guy for you. What? <laughs> How's that, Makoto? Professor Kokonoi? What are you doing here? More importantly, were these boxes supposed to be from you, Professor? Why didn't you teleport with them? I wanted to test the delay mechanism on my teleporter. Looks like it's working perfectly. They appear just as planned. But anyway, happy birthday, Makoto. Were you surprised? Uh, yes. Well, today's not actually my birthday, so yes, I was very surprised. What? You mean today isn't your birthday? Right. Of course, I knew that. Did you now? Obviously. One look at my database and I can pull it up. You mean to tell me Sector 7 saves everyone's birthday info as well? That's right. And lately it's been the trend to surprise people by throwing surprise birthday parties for them when it's not their birthday. I see. And you felt like doing sure. this too? Exactly. So these two gifts are just fakes then, right? Hmm? What do you mean? Those really are my birthday presents to you. What? Pick whichever you want. You, you sure about that? I mean, technically it isn't even my birthday. Not that I'm not happy or anything. It Don't sweat the details. Let's not let ourselves be restricted by something as silly as Tate's. You can have a birthday whenever you feel festive. I could even go into the database and change it to today if you want. No! Okay, I think you're going too far. Besides, today's nothing special for me. I'm guessing you were just bored out of your mind and had nothing better to do. Just pick one already. Oh, right. Um, which one should I... Meow! Meow! Ah! Where the hell did you come from? Tao was hungry! <laughs> so I used my kitty senses and smelled something good coming from this box! And you fell out of the sky for mm, it? Something good. You're right! I smell something good coming from this box, too! My oh my. What? Whoa! What a lovely gentleman. Falkenhain. Odd seeing you alone. I left the manor to procure some fresh tea leaves. When I smelled something quite fascinating. I see. So you smelled it too, huh? Hey, Professor. What's inside these, anyway? Well, I was going to run a test to see which you would pick first. But it seems they were more effective than I thought. I'll open both for you, starting with the small one. A mountain of candy. Candy? Indeed. It has a very captivating scent. Makoto, I made these especially for you. Uh, it's, it's special. It's, uh, everyone here is an animal person, I just noticed. For me? Wow! That's amazing! Is that why? Don't hold back and dig in. Oh yeah, uh, feel free to share some with Tao and Valkenheim too. I want some! I want some! I want some! Meow! If I may, young lady. Of course! The larger the crowd, the meal tastes better. Why don't you join us too, Kokonoe? I think I'll pass. Really? Well then, if you say so. Don't mind if I do. Time to dig in! Meow! <laughs> <laughs> but still, that was unexpected. What is? Well, since it was a present from you, I was expecting a modified mecha arachne, or a miniature black beast science kit, or some kind of explosives. A miniature black beast science kit? Do I want to know what that is? So that's how you've seen me all this time? But to think you give me candy, and they look pretty cute and colorful, too. And the taste. The taste? The ta <sighs> Huh? My breath. Meow! 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 Oh, so something's weird! Meow! Yes. My... Sight is getting a little blurry. Spicy? 
<laughs> I see, I see. Any other symptoms you've noticed? My, my body, it's, it's like it's burning up. What about you, Tao, Valkenheim? I feel like I can fly, meow. What is this strange sensation? It's, it's like I've regained my energy loss since youth. I, I can't contain it anymore. Yeah! <laughs> ah, so it works. On all of you, no less. Uh, Mr. Kokinoe, what are you writing down? Hmm? Well, the candy's effects on various species, of course. Effects? What the heck did you give us? It's no ordinary candy. That much I can be sure. Did you really think I would make regular candy? What you've just eaten is the natural instinct candy. Instinct candy? That's right. It will awaken the dormant, uh, no, sleeping, rather, genetic instincts that have been, for one reason or another, cast aside. Meow! So many difficult words! Tao doesn't understand! Meow! In other words, you intend to unleash the beast within us all with this candy. Am I correct? I'd say you are. Also, to make sure that you don't spit that candy out, I've taken measure to ensure certain species could not resist it. Certain species? Squirrels, cats, and wolves. <laughs> okay. That's exactly what we are. Yeah, so I, so I was correct in guessing this is going to be an animal person related thing. <laughs> I'm not saying beast skin. I'm not saying beast skin because Tao is not a beast skin, so. Huh? Oh no. So what's going to happen to us? That's what I'm here to investigate. This is no joke, Kokonoe. I don't have the time to put up with this nonsense. I must acquire the tea leaves I promised my lady I would. Oh. What are you doing with that? Oh, no. C -c could that be a frisbee? No. Yeah, looks like it. Without a doubt. Meow. Um, so what about it, Mr. Falconheim? What? What are you doing, Kokonoe? Hurry! Uh, hurry up and throw that thing! <laughs> but make sure it flies far, just above the ground. Uh, approximately 30 centimeters above the ground would be perfect. Damn. Per Perfection as much? Uh, you seem just a little bit too excited. Especially for explaining. It's his werewolf instincts that are making him do so. Quickly! Don't rush me. Now, go fetch! <laughs> What the? Impressive, but no match for me. Get it, Valkenhayn. <laughs> we oh. And there he goes. Cal can't see him anymore. No. Well, I doubt he's coming back. What? Huh? I loaded that frisbee with some thrusters. No animal could possibly keep it. Oh, no. Though, of course, he might be able to catch up. Which is precisely why I equipped that frisbee with a detonator. Designed to go off if the frisbee stops moving for over five seconds. I doubt he can resist the urge to keep it in his fangs. What? Why would you do that? Well, you know, he was actually a lot more gross than I thought he'd be when he unleashed his instinct. Yes, he was. Yeah, the dog person was pretty scary. Meow. Okay, I won't deny that. But still, you're the one who made him that way. No, 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 no. You can't blame this one on me. I mean, he was drooling and everything. His tongue was hanging out too. Ah, uh, no. Uh, was it really? <clears throat> I think we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves here because, if I recall, he was supposed to be the gentlemanly and attractive character, right? Rachel would say if she saw him like this. <laughs> oh my gosh! That face of yours just now! You're thinking of something evil. I know it! You're planning to make him eat that candy when he's in front of Rachel, aren't you? Don't talk about my face. I was born this way. More importantly, aren't you two feeling a very strong urge to do something? An urge? Urge! 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 <laughs> to doubt feel the dangling sensation! No! <laughs> uh. what, what the heck? Stop right there, puppy tailed round person! <laughs> <laughs> Your name is too long to say! Meow! <laughs> From now on, Tao's gonna call you Makoto! Meow! <laughs> Makoto! 
She's done it. She's learned the ways of actual memes. Y yes, Makoto. Right. Whoa, this feels really strange. Tao's never called me by my name before. Let me groom your tail right now. What? Uh, Tao can't resist his sudden urge to groom something. <sighs> Speaking of urges, I think I have one coming on right now. All right, meow. We can do it at the same time. Now, give me that fluffy tail of yours, meow. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? I'm going to be very th th thorough. You ready, meow? W wait. What is it, meow? What is going on? Please. Could you please be gentle? God, this is getting out of context bad. Of course, meow. Uh, did you really think I was going to say that? Each tangled piece of fur is a battlefield! Meow! Hey, wait! Keep your elbows tucked in and go for a medium to low diagonal angle! And strike! 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 Meow! Don't! Strike! 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 Meow! What are you doing? Oh, wait. No more. Please! Oh, okay. A round furry object rolled in front of Tao. That was none other than Makoto's stick. I've heard of island squirrels sacrificing their tail to save their own lives, but I suppose I am witnessing nature first. What? Hand. A squirrel's tail is very delicate, so you must handle it with care, Tao. Well, it would seem you have strong genetic traits of the Kagutsuchi Island squirrel, so your wound isn't bleeding. If you'd been any other species, your skin would have healed and your wound exposed. Bacteria would make its way into the wound, eventually leading to grave infection and even death. Stop analyzing the situation so calmly! And that last part? That was actually really scary! No tail, Makoto, no tail, Makoto. Oh, fuck. No! Tao's done something really bad. Uh, but I'm sure you'll be okay, furry girl. You'll grow another one. I will. No, unlike a lizard, squirrels' tails do not regenerate. I'm afraid what is lost in this case cannot be reclaimed. You mean I'm like this for good? But this tail that you've lost is actually pretty fun! How's that? We could, um, uh, start a rental fluffy tail business and loan it out to a bunch of people! What? Well, that's actually a pretty good idea. Damn! There I'm sure you'll have really sweet dreams if you hug it to sleep. Meow. Of course, it'll probably only last for about three weeks. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Right now, it's fluffy and adorable. But think about it calmly. It's a bunch of dead cells now that it's not a part of your body. Eventually, the decay will set in. Of course, if you could withstand the rot and the smell, then... As if! That might be a selling point to those who are into it. Meow. No! People touching my dead parts. <laughs> Ugh, you're a tough one to please. Meow. I think I have the right to say whatever I want right now, since it is the first time in my life that my tail fell off. Is it that shocking to you that you've lost your tail? Yeah. Uh, you think? You two still have your tails, which is why you don't know what I'm going through right now. Would you like us to detach our tails as well? Cool. That's a good. Idea. Meow. What? Huh? <laughs> you mean cats can do that too? No. Well, it's definitely not natural. But if I go back to the lab and apply a local anesthetic, I think I can pull it off. I'll remove yours surgically, Tao. As for mine, that might get a bit tricky. Stop, please! You're beginning to sound like a doctor on the battlefield. Yeah, because cats can't. Uh, cats can't detach their tail. By nature, they can't do that lizards and apparently squirrels that I didn't know. But I just said earlier, fur is a battlefield! Meow! Hmm, perfectly put. Okay, okay, I get it. Please, just don't do the surgery. You sure you're okay with that? Yes. I'm sure it was probably fate or something that I lost my tail. 
I'll admit, I feel a little off balance right now, but as soon as I get used to it, I think I'll be fine. What are you gonna do with the hole in your pants? <laughs> Good point. That was originally designed for my tail. Why don't you give it to the dog person, Meow? Um, I doubt he'll want them. And besides, that'll just make me the perv. So I guess I have to toss them. I'll buy some normal ones. It'll cost you an arm and a leg to buy them all over again. Let me give you this. Professor, that looks like a leaf you picked up from the ground. If you glue it onto yourself, uh, wouldn't it look a bit like, uh, clothing? No. Somehow I doubt that. And I think that'll make me even more of a perv. What about this then, meow? Um, Tao? That looks like dirt. Actually, it looks more like mud. You'll be fine if you rub this on all your important bits, meow. There's only one bit we're, we're trying to fix here. I have no idea what you mean by you'll be fine, but I am definitely not doing that. No to this, no to that. You must really be at a difficult age, meow. But what? I'm not talking about age here. Just common sense. Thank you. Either way, looks like you're ready to come to terms and live without a tail. Yes. Are you sure, Meow? Without a tail, the lagging lady and the Iceman won't know who you are anymore. They'll ignore you, even if they see you on the street. Damn. <laughs> well, I suppose that can't be helped. <gasps> Wait a sec. You mean my entire identity was defined by my tail this whole time? No, you have a character. For a beast, a tail is everything. Say the people who ripped mine off for no reason. But fear not, Tao will always love you, Makoto. Tail or not. Meow. Thanks, Tao. Meow, we should make a grave for this poor tail. You're right. I couldn't let it just roll around here in the open. Time to dig, Meow. Tao loves digging. Thank you for everything, my tail. You will not be forgotten. Rest in peace, Meow. Please watch over me from the other side. Huh. I wonder if tails have an afterlife. <laughs> Farewell, Makoto's tail. Hmm. That was a pretty bold decision. You know I could have just attached it for you, right? Huh? But I love that determined spirit of yours. Wait just a second. What did you say just now? Hmm? Oh, I, I could really use a grilled mackerel just about now. Ish. <laughs> yeah, that's not what you said at all. More like something about being able to attach my tail. Oh, that. Yeah, of course. I can attach that tail in a jiffy. In about two seconds, in fact. What? Why didn't you tell me this? <sighs> Burying. <sighs> Burying. <sighs> Burying. Stop, stop, stop. Tao, were you not just listening to our conversation? I was. Meow. Something about being able to attach your tail, right? And knowing that, you're still trying to bury my tail? Take it out. Take it out this instant. Meow. We're not burying it anymore? Yes. Stop burying. Professor, please attach it right away. I thought you were going to live life without it or something. If it can be attached, obviously I want it attached. Hmm. This too must be instincts. No! Very well. I shall return you to what you once were. No, it isn't. It's just common sense. All right. Now then. Look. I'm going to try and phrase this. I'm going to try and phrase it differently. But if I, if I lo <laughs> Okay, I'll use this. I'll use this word. If I lost my sword and if I lost my sword and if I and I could have it attached back, I would want it back. Okay? The tail's kind of squirming a little. Ah, uh, there's something in between the fur. Meow. Let me see. <laughs> that tickles. What? What? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> this is. <laughs> it talks. Uh. Okay. Okay. 
auch. show off our new character to everyone. Uh, That's true, no. It would be a waste for us to keep something this cute to ourselves. All right, little tail. You're gonna get real busy real soon. I'm thinking we'll start with keychains and then make some stationery. Oh, and definitely some plushies. What? Tao wants chopsticks and stuff with the tail branding, meow. What? That's a great uh. idea. All right, are you ready for the Hall of Fame? We're branding the tail already? How do I always loss a blue the brain cell the moment I watch one of these? <sighs> it was relatively chill until that happened. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm doing episode 10 after this. I'm gonna continue on with Code of Fantasma and then the other episode. God fuck. <laughs> 